Hello and welcome back to the Dice Brigade. I'm Chris and today we're unboxing the new Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid expansions. Let's get to it. I did the uh, pre-order so I got the little Forever Red expansion as well. There are certain channels out there that are not happy with the plastic. Uh oh. Uh oh. Interesting. So, I only paid for one of the Arsenal packs, but they gave me two. And the RPM packs. So, I'm going to look at this and um, I will email them and find out what they want me to do with this one. Um, just a quick story, by the way. I ordered the this and the uh, mail messed up and they delivered it to the wrong house. So I contacted Renegade to let them know that the post office had failed to deliver to my house. And they got back to me within one business day to let me know what I need to do to fix it. Fortunately, the person that they delivered it to ended up sending it back through the mail to my house. So thank you to whoever, whoever that was, I appreciate it. These are the additional content things that you get the pre-order bonuses. We will go over this in a few minutes. This is the Arsenal box. Now I'll show them some real firepower. Andros. From Battleizers to the Black Box. This pack changes the game. Armor power-ups and team power-ups in an all-new Arsenal mode. Trini Can's Black Dragon Armor, Izzy Garcia, and Tyler Navarro also make their debut. But the terrifying Void Knight has arrived too. And he releases the chance to face the Rangers at their most powerful. Relishes. I like the vocabulary. Okay. And finally, the RPG pack. Um, RPM, the RPM pack. So, full disclosure here, I have not seen Power Ranger RPM, so I don't know a lot about the show. It looks cool, uh, but I'm currently re-watching the Power Ranger series, so I'll eventually get to this one, but um, it's pretty cool. Like, the, the stuff looks cool. RPM, get in gear. Suit up as the heroes of Corinth. Scott Truman... Flynn McAllister, Summer Lansdowne, Ziggy Grover, and Dylan. Dylan doesn't have a last name, I guess. I'll just see which one Dylan is. In the near future of the alternate universe, the Ranger operations are an elite group of civilians in advanced biosuits when the situation is desperate and all hope seems lost. It's time for Power Rangers RPM to go into overdrive. Okay. I enjoy opening the boxes for the first time. Okay, so again, like every board game now, there's advertisements for future or for their other games. Think of the trees. So this includes three ranger figures. So three ranger figures, three character cards, eight, uh, 30 combat cards, three zord guards, um, one nemesis figure, one deployment card, eight enemy cards, one dragon claw token. Okay, so arsenal mode. This expansion introduces Arsenal mode. You can toggle this mode on for any game session, whether you're using the base game materials or including gameplay content from this or other expansions. 
The Arsenal deck. During the setup, take 10 random Arsenal cards, shuffle them together face down, place this Arsenal deck near the power board, return the unused cards to the game box. At the start of each round, reveal the top two cards from the Arsenal deck and place them in a face up row next to the deck. At the end of each round, move any remaining cards to the bottom um, from the row to the bottom deck. If the Arsenal deck becomes depleted due to the Rangers gaining all 10 cards, then ignore the previous steps for the rest of the game. Arsenal game cost. Arsenal card cost. The Ranger cannot gain Arsenal cards due during battle. Outside of battle, Rangers may gain Arsenal cards from the row by discarding cards from hand. The cost to gain two Arsenal cards is shown in the upper left corner. The Rangers must collectively discard cards with the shield total equal to or greater than the cost. Some Arsenal cards have a cost listed as R. Instead of a, nu a numeric value for these cards, the cost is equal to the number of Rangers in the game. When the Arsenal card is gained, assign it to a Ranger of your choice. The card can be used at any battle that Ranger participates in. Each Ranger can only have one Arsenal card at a time when the Rangers gain a new Arsenal card. It can be assigned to the Ranger to a Ranger who already has an Arsenal card if that Ranger discards their current Arsenal card first. So then it gives an example of a... Uh, so Dino Fury Green discards Mold Breaker, three shields, and Dino Charger Red discards Wild Punch, two shields. Then, Di then Dino Fury Green gains Dragon Shield. Arsenal card discounts. The Rangers can reduce the cost of an available Arsenal card. When the Rangers perform a recover action, they may choose to recover up to six shields fewer than normal. If they do, they may place an equal number of hit tokens on an available Ar Arsenal card divided as they choose. The cost to gain an Arsenal card is reduced by one for each hit token placed on it. Return all hit tokens from the arsenal card to the supply when it is gained or moved to the bottom of the deck at the end of the round. The cost of the, to gain the arsenal card is reduced one for each hit token placed on it. Return all hit tokens from the arsenal card to the supply when it is gained or moved to the bottom of the deck at the end of the round. Okay, so I can see why this where this would be handy. Cool. Arsenal card uses. The arsenal cards come in three types, armor, power-up, and team power-ups. The card types determine whether the card effect is instant or ongoing or whether it can be used multiple times or only once. Armor cards have the instant effect with multiple uses. When the armor card is gained, place one energy token for each of the empty energy slots. Each time, each time the assigned ranger uses the effect, remove one energy token from the card. When the last energy token has been removed from the card, discard it. Power-up cards have an instant effect with a single use. Once the effect has been used to, um, by the assigned ranger, discard it. Team power-up cards have an ongoing effect with a single use. Once the card is gained, the effect applies to all rangers who participate in the next battle. That includes the assigned ranger. At the end of the battle, discard it. Okay, so you have to time out when you're using these cards. I like it. It's okay, Nemesis enemies. Nemesis, like Void Knights, are powerful enemies with unique effects on their deployment card. Observe the following special roles for all Nemesis enemies. So the Nemesis enemies were introduced in the um, Power Rangers in Space with the Psycho Rangers. Uh, I do not have that expansion yet, unfortunately, but soon. Nemesis are treated as monsters for all gameplay purposes, including roles of the, for deployment including rules for deployment and panicked locations. Effects and abilities that apply to monster figures and monster cards also apply to Nemesis figures and Nemesis cards. When a Nemesis is deployed, keep the Nemesis deployed card nearby as it will be needed when the Rangers face them in battle. At the start of each battle against a Nemesis, attach the Nemesis deployment card to the lead Ranger. Here, place it in front of that player next to the character card. This occurs during the enemy preparation step. During each battle against a nemesis, the passive effect of the nemesis deployment card applies to at all times. If the current lead ranger is defeated or otherwise leaves the battle, attach the nemesis deployment card to the new lead ranger. 
At the end of each battle against a nemesis, remove the nemesis deployment card from the attached ranger. Keep it nearby until the next time the rangers face them in battle. Dino key cards. Isaiah Gracia has several combat cards with the dino key in their name. These cards are gray rather than green because they are not linked exclusively to Izzy Garcia, but can be used by other Dino Fury Rangers. Before you play, you may customize your Dino Fury Ranger deck by swapping Dino Key cards from your deck at a one-to-one -one ratio for Dino Key cards from the deck of another Dino Fury Ranger, available in other expansions. You may swap both copies of a Dino um, Key card from your deck to another Dino Key cards or swap one only one copy while keeping the other. So when it says one to one is that shield? Like I'm guessing that shield ratio, right? If I'm wrong, please let me know, but I, I, I'm guessing that's how that would work. I don't have in the uh, Dino Fury Ranger expansion, so I'm sure it, it's explained a little bit better in that one, but that would be my guess. Dragon Claw tokens. Trini Cans Dragon Armor Ranger form a number of abilities and effects that refer to and interact with the Dragon Claw token. This token begins the game out of play. Once it has been placed on an enemy card by the by an effect, once it, been, once it has been placed on an enemy card by an effect, it remains there even if that enemy card is defeated until the battle ends or until another effect would place it again. If an effect says to place the Dragon Claw token when it is already in play, move it to a different enemy card instead. You must move it when this happens, even if the effect says to place it on an enemy card of your choice. So you have to move it. You couldn't just pop it back on the same guy. Um, okay, so those are the rules. Let's take a look at the figures and then the cards. And so we will go over that. There's. <laughs> Um, do we know what, uh, in the comments, can you let me know what size cards these are, or if there's any card sleeves? I'm going to start sleeving up my entire game collection, and, um, I would love to start getting sleeves for these cards. Okay, I will say, these miniatures are cool. Um, so this is the Dino Fury Green Ranger. Um, okay, I think she's like probably the least interesting miniature in this set, but that's not a slam against her. Because I mean, the Dino Fury Red Ranger here, um, see again, I haven't watched Dino Fury, so I have no idea what his name is, but, uh, he's stockier than the, um, he's stockier than most of the Power Rangers I've seen so far. So that's a cool touch. He's also got this really cool, like, Tyrannosaurus grip thing. I love it. I love it. That's a cool design. Very cool. Uh, let's go with this knight here. I love knights. He's got this big beefy shield. He's a nemesis. Oh, his uh, hilt, the sword hilt is a little dinosaur. Cool design. Yeah, Renegade miniatures are like, th at least for these series, they're not, um, like they're not the most detailed miniatures ever because it's not a miniature war game, but they're fun to paint and they're they're easy to paint. The Sculptus, um, the Sculptus put a, uh, the Sculptus approached it from a painting mindset, making the lines very pronounced and clear and making these things easy and fun to paint. You know, <laughs> I was just thinking about this. The Guardian system that Renegade has developed, wouldn't that be cool if uh, they could get the Kingdom Hearts license? That would go really, really well because you could have the Shat, like the Heartless and the Nobodies, and you could have the bosses and the the, you know, the big monsters and the, the bosses that, you could have the monsters like being like bosses throughout the game and then the, the monsters could be like the big baddies and stuff. Uh, I don't know, just a thought. <laughs> I know that'd be um, a hard license to get a hold of, but it'd be cool. Okay, this is a cool sculpt. This is the uh, Trini in the, um, this is from the comic. 
but she's in this um this is trini she's in the dragon armor and it's fun it's big and bulky so we'll do uh here's your little helmet haven't read much of the comic i definitely haven't gotten too deep into the shattered grid stuff so uh i was enjoying the comic I, i'm not against it i just uh I haven't really finished it. My problem is I don't really do well with digital comics. I like to have physical comics. So, anyway, really like the sculpt. Let's get to these cards here. Sometime I'll remember not to clip my fingernails before an unboxing video. Okay, here are the gray cards. So yeah, I would really be willing to bet that it's a shield thing, but uh, let's look at her cards real fast. You know what, let's look at the Ranger's special powers, because I'm sure that's actually gonna have a lot to do. We'll get to the Arsenal cards in a second here. Okay. So, first we have Izzy Garcia, Dino Fury Green Ranger, the Eye of the Tiger. Once per battle during any Ranger turn, you may use this ability instead of playing a card. Perform an attack with a number of dice equal to the number of Chroma Fury icons on in your hand. Then shuffle your hand into your deck and draw two cards. Okay. So with that in mind, um, So once per turn, instead of attacking, you can just uh, roll dice equal to the number of these little symbols here. And so then you have to reshuffle your deck and draw two cards. I can see that being handy. Uh, so we'll go from there, but it's attack. It's a three die attack. No, it's just a three damage attack. Chroma Fury Saber. Really, it's a three damage attack. Zero cost, three energy. Interesting. I guess you'd be giving up your two guaranteed damage, which you could combine it with another card and get three or more. I don't know. Again, not, I don't have the, the Dino Fury cards, but okay. The Jade Javelin attack two dice. You may ignore guard keyword when choosing a target for this attack. Re reveal one card from your hand and add one die to the attack for every Chroma Fury icon on that card. Okay, I'm beginning to understand this card. Cool. So there's two of the Jade Javelins at one shield a piece. Mold Breaker. It's a maneuver. Gain one energy. Any ranger may discard a maneuver or reaction card to perform an attack with two dice. If that card has a star on it or a, a Chroma Fury icon, add two dice to that attack. I can see that being a very handy card. Because uh, sometimes you have an, a reaction or a maneuver that you just don't need in that battle. So, hey, getting a um, getting a, a possible four dice attack for zero energy cost. Very cool. Free shields for Mold Breaker. Tiger Fury Strike. Energy cost three, three shields, four die attack. After you resolve this attack, perform an additional attack with a number of dice equal to the number of Chroma Fury icons in your hand. So, again, with this hand right now, Oh, um, so that ideally, if you have five cards in your hands, let's say, you could do another five die attack with that. Possibly, but that's not going to happen, but very often, but it will happen every once in a while, which is cool. So, okay, so these are their, their gray cards um, that you can mix and match with other Dino Fury Rangers. I like that mechanism, actually. That's really cool. Very clever. Uh, this is... Muscle Dino Key. Play this card when any ranger performs an attack to add one die to that attack. It's a reaction. That's nice, especially if you're doing that with a ranger that allows rerolls because adding dice to rerolls is nice. Reactions. Uh, <clears throat> that was Sprint Dino Key. I'm actually really curious about Dino Fury now. Play this card at the start of a battle. 
that ranger may ignore fast keywords to take the first turn in battle. That's a one energy cost, sprint dino key, two shields, and it has these uh, chroma fury icons. So that's nice sometimes being able to jump ahead and take the fast initiative, like being able to take the initiative and attacking, that's nice. So that's her deck. Next we have Trini Khan, Dragon Armor Ranger. Black Dragon. At the start of each battle, place the Dragon Claw marker on an enemy card of your choice. Rangers may ignore guard keywords when attacking that card until the end of the battle. That, that will be clutch. <laughs> Havoc Laser. It costs free energy, it's free shields. Immediately defeat an enemy card with the Dragon Claw token, then shuffle your hand into your deck. Okay, so you lose, you just defeat a card. That's great. That's worth free energy sometimes. But then you lose your hand. So, cool. Guard Crush Reaction. Play this card when an enemy card with the Dragon Claw token resolves. Deal one damage to that card and reduce all damage it deals by one. Oh, since this is all damage, that means if it's like deal free damage, deal free damage, deal free damage, then that would be deal two damage, deal two damage, deal two damage. Ooh, I like it. Uh, let me know if I got that roll wrong, but that's how I'm reading that card. This is all damage. Gotta pay attention to certain words. Jet Rush, one energy, three die attack, one shield. After you resolve this attack, place the Dragon Claw token on an enemy card of your choice. Very nice. Dragon Rage, zero energy, one shield. Place the Dragon Claw token on an enemy of your card of your choice. Deal one damage to that card. If this effect defeats a card, you may spend one energy to repeat this effect. I can see that being really good for cleanup. Energy Harvest, gain one energy for each hit token on the enemy card with the Dragon Claw token. Another Ranger may immediately play one card. Energy Harvest, it's a zero cost card. Maneuver, and one shield. Um, Vorpal Claws, zero energy, two attack, two die, two die attack, three shields. Add one die to this attack if the target has one Dragon Claw token. So that's a possible free die attack. Okay, um, yeah. I, again, haven't read the comics, but this looks like a really fun miniature to paint. So I'm looking forward to that. I have, well, a lot of painting to do. So finally, we're going to go to uh, Tyler Navarro. Uh, his uh, Dino Charger Red Ranger. And for some reason, he doesn't have any of those gray cards. Not sure why, but it's fine. Again, I'm sure there's a really good reason. I'm just really ignorant on the Dino Charger series. It's about to get wild. Once per battle at the start of any Ranger turn, any Ranger may draw two cards. If they do add two die to the next attack that Ranger performs during that turn. I can see that being handy. <laughs> um, I'm sure it's um, fun trying to think of unique mechanisms. Uh, and Jonathan Yang seems like he enjoys the puzzle, but coming up with new ways to make rangers but then you got to make sure they don't um break other rangers uh, so i'm sure that's a fun balance dino saber so i don't think he has any yeah he does not have any chroma fury icons in his cards so, so wait is, is that because she's from dino fury they're both from, no dino charge Guys, I'm ignorant on new Power Rangers. Okay, that's why. Two different sets here. Cool. Dino Saber. One energy, one shield. Attack three. So just, you don't roll dice, it deals three damage. Any Ranger may draw one card. If they do, they may ignore the guard keyword when choosing a target for this attack. You may, okay. So that's fun. Um, and getting around guards always fun. It does three damage. So, yeah. Um, that's fun. Final strike, zero energy cost, two attack, two dice, and three shields. If you've already used your once per battle ability during this battle, 
add one dice to this attack. Very nice, so you can get three die attacks if you time that card right. Go for it! It is a zero cost, one shield, maneuver. Another ranger may immediately play one attack card. They may ignore the guard keyword, so he's he's a guard, uh, guard buster. I, I don't know if that's what they call it in the meta, meta is what I call it, so... Uh, they may ignore the guard keyword or or reroll any number of die during that attack. If you've already used your once per battle ability during this battle, they may do both. Okay, so you're going to want to use it's about to get wild early on to play with him. Um, forward motion, zero cost, reaction, two shields. Play this card when another ranger performs an attack. Before they roll, draw one card, gain one energy, add one die to that attack. That's a great card. Um, and what's cool about reactions, by the way, is there's no limit on reactions you can play if you meet the uh, prerequisite for the, for the um, reaction, then you may continue to play it. So you could play both of these cards at once to let a ranger uh, draw um, before they roll draw one card so you could draw two cards gain two energies and then you can add two dice to that attack if you have both of these in your hand fun t-rex smasher two cost three die attack the next time any ranger performs an attack during this battle add two dice to that attack again very nice and again you can combo things that's really what this card this game is about is comboing your cards so what's his big attack? It doesn't have anything that's free energy. Interesting. Wild Punch. So his Dino Saber would be his big thing, I guess. Hmm. Uh, this is a one energy cost, three dice, and two shields. After you resolve this attack, you may place up to two cards from your hand on top of your deck. Gain one energy for each card. Nice, I mean, I'll take it. Okay, let's take a look at these Zords. Uh, first we have the Tiger Claw Zord, the Dino Fury Green Ranger. Exhaust this card after any Ranger performs an attack. During the next Ranger's, during the next Ranger turn in this battle, instead of playing a card, you may perform an attack with half that many dice. Round it down. Situational, but not bad. Um, Mega Black Dragon. Exhaust this card during a battle. Place the Dragon Claw marker on an enemy card of your choice. The health value of any enemy card with the Dragon Claw token is reduced by one. I'm going to have to check. Um, this is just mean you exhaust this card and then that card becomes reduced by one or is it while well, this card is exhausted or do you exhaust it to move it and is that just a passive effect i'm a little confused on that one the any enemy card with the dragon claw token is reduced by one hmm. that's a little weird if you guys have any suggestions please let me know um if I, if I, I might look it up and see if there's any clarification on that one. The T-Rex Zord, Dino Charge Red. <laughs> Dino Fury and Dino Charge. Exhaust this card after any ranger resolves an attack. If that attack did not defeat the target, roll two dice and deal that many hits to the target. Nice, nice, because sometimes you just need to do that one extra hit. Very nice. Okay, do we have the, we do okay. Let's see what the Void Knight says. Uh, at the start of each battle, Void Knight deals an amount of damage equal to the total number of Zords and Arsenal cards in play. <sighs> Oof. Now, it does. It just says he deals that damage at the start of the battle. Mm. Ouch. <laughs> uh, let's see, because let's just say he comes up as the second... You should have three to four Zords and maybe some Arsenal cards by then. Yikes! If you're doing like doing well, you don't always get the Mega Zord, but um, it's usually, yeah. Okay, Enemy Pulse. This is a four health card. It is a guard and a fast card. Fast guards. 
Deal free damage to each ranger. If the ranger has at least one Zord or Arsenal Arsenal card in play, increase this damage by two. Purple Lightning, it is a fast card. Its health is four. Deal four damage each to half of the rangers in battle. Round it up. This damage cannot be reduced by Zord or Arsenal card effects. Hey guys, we're gonna give you these really cool Arsenal cards and then take them away from you with this guy. <laughs> Tempest Counter, health 5, passive. Each time this card or an adjacent enemy card is defeated, each time this card is defeated, <laughs> deal an amount of damage equal to that card's health value. Increases damage by one for each Zord or Arsenal card in play. Ugh, boy. Void Blade. Shame of the Void, Void. <laughs> health 6. Any ranger may discard a Zord or an Arsenal card from play if they do not deal 5 damage to each ranger. And I'm guessing that just means, boom, it's gone. Like, you can't use it again. Like, if it's a Zord, for example. Void Shield, Health 3, Guard, and a Passive. Increase this card's health by 1 for each Zord and Arsenal card in play. Whew. He's a nasty... Uh, you thought Nasty Knight was nasty. This is Void Knight, is brother i don't know um there are 20 arsenal cards remember you're supposed to pick 10 or randomly deal 10 i'm gonna butcher some of these names i apologize any maroon armor any maroon armor oh this is from i think it's from uh wild fury i wonder if uh that's foreshadowing something coming down the pike i have no idea let's see so these have uses use when you reveal a card for defense to add one shield to that card not bad, it costs two. Uh, Defender's Vest, armor, cost of three. Uh, use after you resolve a card. The next time any ranger suffers damage in this battle, reduce that damage by the amount of energy spent to play that card. Dino Charge Battleizer, armor, cost four. Use when you perform an attack, another ranger may reveal an attack card with an energy cost of one or zero from their hand. If they do, your attack gains the effect, gains the text of that card. Dino Knight mode. Armor. Use when you reveal a card for defense, gain one energy for each shield and Chroma Fury icon on that card. Dragon Shield. Armor. Use to resolve one of the following effects. After you resolve an attack, perform an additional attack with three dice. When you suffer damage, reduce that damage by two. Then deal two damage to an enemy card of your choice. It's a five cost card, I can see why. It's pretty good. Hyperforce Battleizer. Use at the start of battle. The rangers may ignore the fast keyword and take the first turn in battle. Quantum Mega Battle Armor. Cost 2. Use after you roll dice for an attack. You may convert 1 miss result to a hit or 1 hit result to a double hit result. Red Battleizer Armor. Cost 3. Use before you roll dice for an attack. Add 1 die to that attack. Red Fury Mode. 4. Use before you roll dice for an attack, add two dice to that attack. After the attack resolves, another ranger must suffer damage equal to the number of misses rolled. Yikes. Okay, this is a power up. Black box, cost four. Use when you play an attack card, double the amount of damage dealt by that attack. Nice. Power of six. It costs six. Power up. Uh, use to resolve one of the following effects. When any ranger gains energy, they gain six instead. When any ranger rolls dice for an attack, they roll six dice instead. When any ranger suffers, dam suffers damage, when any ranger suffers damage, reduce that damage by six. Now, oh, <laughs> very sexy. Sword of Darkness. Use during any ranger turn in battle. Instead of playing a card, spend free energy to deal six damage to an enemy card of your choice. Thunderslinger, two. 
Use when any ranger plays an attack card. Add one die to that attack for each energy spent to play that card. Uh, Zeo Jet Cycles, cost five. Use before the start of battle. Move up to two ranger figures from the center of the location to this battle. Lights of Orion. Until the end of this battle, each time a ranger plays a card, you may draw one card to reduce its energy cost by one. Metallic Armor, R. During this battle, the first time each ranger reveals a card for defense, they may treat it as having a shield value of four. Until the end of this battle, each time a ranger uses a once per battle ability, they may then return one card from their discard pile to the hand. These team power-ups are fun. Uh, super Dino Mode. During this battle, the first time each ranger performs an attack, add one dice to the attack. SWAT Armor. Uh, during this battle, the first time each ranger spends energy to play a card or use a character ability, they may first deal one damage to an enemy card of their choice. Sword of Light. Until the end of the battle, each other ranger is considered to have your ability, your character's ability, in addition to their own. Okay. Uh, Sword of Light, I think that's going to be a, a very popular one and um, a very breakable one. Arsenal cards. I think they're great. I think that um, Jonathan Ying, at my guess would be, would wanted to figure out how to add um, things to the game since the beginning, like the um, Dragon Shield and the Battleizers and uh, what was the uh, the Thunder Slingers motorcycles. Like, so this is a great way of doing that. This is a really cool mechanism. I'm looking forward to playing this. Um, I'm gonna have to bug my friends to get them to play this game with me again, <laughs> so we can test this out. But now that I've seen these, I'm willing to bet that they're going to become permanent fixtures in my game. Uh, so yeah, I right now, again, without having played this game with these, this looks really, really cool. Um, so good job. Can't wait to see how that actually goes. So that's probably the um, going to be the longer part of the video, I'm guessing, because now I have the RPM. And it's just Ranger packs with five Rangers. Um, you know, so two Megazord cards. Oh, two Zord. Ooh, two Megazords. Okay. So we'll see what kind of um, things these guys do. Again, not very familiar with the RPM series. And I definitely was showing my ignorance on the um, Dino Chargers and Dino Fury. <sighs> Man, there was like that uh, Dino Thunder, too. <laughs> I, I think the. Um, Sentai creators, super sentai creators like dinosaurs. I don't know where I get that idea from, but uh, anyway. You guys ever notice how board games have like that new box smell? <laughs> In another dimension where robots threaten humanity, the RPM Rangers are the last hope to protect the world against evil. Suit up as the heroes of Corinth. The daring leader Scott Truman, the stalwart Scotsman uh, Flynn McAllister, the wealthy heiress Summer Lansdowne, the quick thinking rogue Ziggy Grover, and the mysterious loner Dylan. Again, gotta find out who Dylan is. In the near future, of the alternate universe, the Rangers' operations are an elite group of civilians in advanced biosuits chosen by Dr. K's Rangers program to operate biohardware vehicles and weapons against the foes of humanity. When the situation is desperate and all hope seems lost, it's time for the Power Rangers RPMs to go into overdrive. Uh, joining and leaving battles. Uh, Ziggy Grover has a number of effects that allow him to join and or leave battles. Move his figure accordingly when resolving these effects. If Ziggy figure is no longer in the same location as a battle after resolving one of these effects, he is no longer considered to be participating in the battle. If Ziggy was the last ranger participating in the battle, the battle ends immediately. Uh, the tail spinner can be used when rangers enter or leave a new location during a battle. This includes when a ranger is defeated in battle and sent to the command center, but not when the last participating ranger leaves the battle. 
Okay, we'll see what the tail spinner is coming up here. Removing cards from the game. Dylan has a number of effects that can remove card. Dylan, I tell you why. Dylan has a number of effects that can remove cards from the game. When cards are removed from the game this way, set them aside, but somewhere they can be easily retrieved because Dylan's Defy Fate Maneuver can return a removed card to the corresponding ranger's deck. Cards that are removed from the game count for all effects that are based on removed cards, e.g. Dylan's Rocket Blaster or Final Vajinx Deflection Beam. Cards that have been removed but then returned do not count for such effects. So we'll uh, we'll see what that means coming up here. Okay, let's take a look at this. You know, again, this is one of those games where the miniatures really don't contribute mechanically to the game, but I am so glad they've taken the time to do a good job on these miniatures, and I'm, uh, I'm liking the effect. I'm liking the way these guys look so far. So these like suspenders i'm looking at the uniform that that's cool uh he's this is the red ranger the uh rpm red and he's got a nice big sword and hey these rangers have the guns on their hips for some reason the uh mighty morphins out of the base game don't have their guns on their hips which is weird but it bothers me let's just go down the line there's no pink in this set and i don't know anything about rpm so <laughs> um so this is the Yellow Ranger. She's in a fun pose. Don't know what her weapon is, but I appreciate it. <laughs> he did not want to come out. But looks like he's kind of the Green Ranger, the uh, RPM Green. Looks like a shark head. I like the helmet. That's cool. I'll have to see. Um, he's got a giant battle axe, though, and I approve of that. There's an arrow pointing up on the battle axe. Very nice. Yeah, again, there's the um, Red Ranger from the uh, Arsenal pack that he's just stockier than any of these guys. Really appreciate that. That's fun. Obviously, Black Dragon Trini is the stockiest Ranger of them all. This guy's got a big gun, and I love it. This looks like something out of like an 80s or 90s like comic or <laughs> yeah. Very nice. The RPM blue. I. I don't know what it is. It looks like some sort of cat on his helmet. I think he'll be a lot of fun. I'm guessing this black one's Dylan. Because he's just posed. He's got a smaller gun though than the blue guy, so he's not as cool. Okay, I just noticed these guys have pouches on their belt. I love that. I really do. Um, are these supposed to be tires on their gloves? Probably because it's RPM, so you'd think there'd be like vehicle related stuff. Um, so cool design, very cool design. Uh, but I would, without having looked any further, I'm willing to bet that this is Dylan. <laughs> okay. See, they have these little like cutouts where you're supposed to be able to just uh, like, what, my finger, like you're supposed to be able to like, just there we go. You're supposed to be able to, like pull this tab. There we go. For some reason, my fingernail wasn't catching it. Scott Truman, Ranger Operation Series Red, Assault Burst. Once per battle, before rolling die for an attack, you may. Add three dice to that attack. Skip the next ranger turn in that battle. Okay, so risk versus reward. Let's get his cards here. Attack sequence Mustang. X energy reaction. Play this card at the start of an enemy's turn in battle. For each energy spent in play, um, spent to play this card, reduce all damage dealt to rangers by one until the end of this turn. I can see that being very nice. Uh, Condor Strike. 
uh, X cost and two shields to attack. Deal one damage to a number of enemy cards other than the target equal to the amount of energy spent on this card. Very nice. Okay. And I think if I'm getting the rules right on this one, since you're not targeting, I think you can deal damage indirectly. Since this has indirect, you can attack cards that are guarded. I could be wrong. Uh, <laughs> Nitro Blaster X. So he's got a lot of like X energy cost. Um, it's an attack three, one shield. You may divide the attack from the, you may divide the damage from the attack among any number of targets equal to the amount of energy spent to play this card. Okay, so you could just do one energy essentially. Would you do one? Would it cost one to, I don't know. <laughs> um, zero cost, red line slash, um, attack two, two dice. If there's no energy in the shared pool, add one dice to this attack. So he's kind of like an energy, um, he's a guy who uses a lot of energy, let's just say. <laughs> Rev the engine, zero cost maneuver, gain one energy the next time any ranger performs an attack. In this battle, add two dice to that attack. That's fun, that's a maneuver, okay. Street Saber Strike, free, free energy cost, free die attack. Before rolling, if any effects add dice to this attack, you may choose one of those effects and apply it an additional time. Ooh, okay, that's nice. Flynn McAllister, a Scotsman. I'm not going to try to do a Scots accent because that would be embarrassing. Rangers Operations Series Blue. So he's number two, okay. Uh, burst time, once per battle, after any Ranger turn in battle when the ranger played exactly one card they may take an additional turn during that turn rangers may only they only play maneuver cards okay that's oddly specific <laughs> okay highland strike attack two if this card is revealed for defense you may add it to your hand instead of placing it at the bottom of your deck or discarding it uh, strike. i'm scottish so yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, energy cost one, deal two damage to an enemy card of your choice maneuver, and deal one damage to a card that has already been resolved. If this card, oh, so he's a defensive guy. I like it. If this card is revealed for defense, you may add it to your hand instead of placing it at the bottom of your deck or discarding it. Nitro Blaster, and that's where you uh, get to move it. Okay, push the limit. Zero cost, gain two energy, Another ranger may perform an attack with two dice. Okay, so you could kind of pair his attacks at his maneuvers, I guess, but anyway. Um, turbo Cannon. This must be his really big. Uh, yep, free energy, uh, five die attack. After you resolve this attack, any ranger may immediately play one maneuver card. So he's a maneuver defensive guy. I like it. Weaponized Morph, and that's an energy cost of X. Gain two energy, deal one damage to a number of enemy cards equal to the amount of energy spent. Okay, so you don't deal one damage to uh, uh, enemies, you deal damage to one enemy equal to the amount of enemy spent. So you're gonna be, uh, you can't just blow that one up. Okay, next we have Summer lands down. Now she's an heiress, if I remember right. Uh, Rangers Operations Series Yellow, and she's got a number three on her chest. Yeah, those look like tires on their armbands. Now I'm looking at this art. Uh, energy Burst. Once per battle, when any Ranger spends at least three energy to play a card, you may deal one damage to an enemy card of your choice. Okay. Which again, this seems like an energy uh, team, like a very high energy team, which I'm all for. Stunt Rider, one energy. Reaction, play this card when any ranger suffers damage to reduce that damage by two. The next time any ranger performs an attack, this battle they may divide the uh, damage um, among any number of targets. Very cool. Flare Kick, zero cost. Uh, one attack plus one damage. Gain an amount of energy equal to the number of hits 
resolve rolled during this attack. So that's a good way to gain, because, yeah. And this rolled, by the way, so that automatic hit does not count. At least I don't think it does. Um, loaded strike, attack, two deck, uh, zero cost, two attack, two attack dice. If there's at least four energy in the shared pool, add one dice to this attack. So, nice. The Nitro Blaster. Power Surge. X cost. Maneuver. Gain an amount of energy equal to twice the amount of energy spent to play this card. Max five. So that's a way of just like doubling your energy. Okay, so see this would play well with um, You could use the, these two cards with the Blue Ranger to really boost up your energy. It'd be fun. Uh, Zip Charger, this is a maneuver, uh, free cost. Play this card on your character's card until the end of this battle. When a Ranger spends energy, place energy tokens, place one energy token on that card. Discard this card at the start of a Ranger turn to deal two damage to an enemy card. Plus one damage for every energy token on this card. Okay, I can see that being a lot of fun. I, I think she would be um, a lot of fun to play. Okay, now we have Ziggy Grover, Rangers Operations Series Green, uh, Erratic Teleportation. At any time, he may discard one card from your hand to move your figure to an outer location of your choice. You may use this ability in battles you are not participating in. Okay, so he's going to be the kind of guy that jumps in and out of battle. Let's see how that goes. Chansey Chop. Zero cost to attack. Before rolling, choose even or odds. If your number of hits result, the roll matches your choice. Gain one energy and return this card to your hand instead of discarding it. That's nice. <laughs> I will say that is a very cool. Uh, you can use him to do a lot of cleanup. And with his ability to zip around the board. Yeah. There's the Nitro Blaster. That's the team uh, weapon. Sneak attack. Zero cost. Reaction. Play this card after another ranger performs a maneuver to immediately perform an attack with two dice. So, uh, a lot of maneuver. Like, uh, this is a maneuver heavy team, and I really like that because. I think they're vehicle themed, but again, they are because they're RPMs. So that's really cool. I really appreciate that. Trickster, zero cost. Play this card when any ranger reveals a card for defense. That ranger may swap the revealed card with another card from their hand. Ooh, nice. Turbo Axe, it's a three cost, four die attack. You may place, you may play this card in any battle regardless of location. Move your figure to the location of that battle. If you were already in that location, add two dice to this attack instead. Very nice. Warp strike. Uh, one energy, two attack, two, one die, two damage. If this card is revealed for defense, add it to your hand instead of placing it in the bottom of the deck or discarding it. Then move your figure to another outer location of your choice. Okay, very fun. Uh, he, I think he would be a lot of fun in battle too. Uh, jumping in and out uh, of combat, I could see um, I could see where that would be a lot of fun, uh, especially if you plan it right. You can get him out of a big strike and then bring him back in after a big strike. So really cool. Now we're at Dylan. I knew it. Rangers Operation Series Black Defiant Defense. Once per battle, you when any Ranger reveals a card for defense. You may choose one card from your hand, remove it from the game. If you do, add five, di add five shields to the revealed card. Okay, we're gonna see uh, how his cards work because that's handy. Really good at damage reduction, but uh, yeah, Defiant Strike. He's a Defiant Dylan. The one cost, three attack. When this card is revealed for defense, choose and resolve an enemy card. Choose a resolved enemy card. Deal an amount of damage equal to the uh, equal to this card's shield value. So it's one, but hey, that's better than not. I mean, again, very good. Uh, defy fate, zero cost. Maneuver, deal one damage to an enemy card of your choice. Then choose one combat card that is removed from the game. Return it to the top of the corresponding ranger's deck. So 
again, st thinking strategically here, sometimes you can fix your deck using that ability. I like it. Oh, uh, there's two of those cards. So do or die, zero cost, two attack. If at least two Ranger Operations Area Blacks cards have been removed for the game, gain two energy. In the game, gain two energy. Final impact, attack special. Uh, for each energy spent on this card, add two dice to that attack. After resolving this attack, remove this card from the game. I, I'm, I'm down with it. That's really cool. Especially, oh, you could pair that with... If you time out things carefully with final impact, you could um, roll ten dice. Oh, that's great. Okay, here's his Nitro Blaster. And his rocket blaster. Uh, you, you could roll more than ten dice, actually, because you could really bank up energy. Okay, this 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 team. This team will be a lot of fun to play as I can see it already. <laughs> rocket blaster, attack. Uh, co energy cost three. Attack five dice. For each Ranger Operation Series Black card removed from the game, reduce this cost by one and add one die to the attack. Okay, okay. So, whatever you do, do not remove the Defy Fates from your the game because that's your big lifeline on bringing things back. Let us look at their Zords now. Uh, we got the Eagle Racer. That's a cool looking car. Exhaust this card. When any ranger performs an attack, that ranger may add one die to that attack and ignore the guard keyword when choosing a target for that attack. Very nice. We have the Lion Hauler. Exhaust this card when any ranger plays a maneuver card. Gain one energy. That ranger may also place the card on top of their deck instead of discarding it. Yep, I'm thinking of ways to break this game. Okay, I really like these cars, by the way. Um, they're they're unlike the turbo where they're just cool looking cars. These are like animal cars, which I really appreciate because it's peak Power Rangers, right? <laughs> um, exhaust this card when there are at least five. Let's see, when there are at least three energy in the shared pool, gain three energy. Again, ways of breaking things, guys. Tail spinner. Exhaust this card when any ranger enters a new location during a battle. That ranger may draw up to two cards and deal an equal amount of damage to an enemy card of their choice. And of course, Dylan has a wolf cruiser. Of course he does. I mean, I think Batman would be jealous of some of these. <laughs> Exhaust this card when any ranger reveals a card for defense. If that ranger has three cards or fewer in their deck, Add free shields to the revealed um, to the revealed card. Then we have high octane Megazord. Exhaust this card at the end of any ranger's turn in battle. Gain two energy. The rangers may take an additional turn after this one. The next time any ranger performs an attack during this battle, add two dice to that attack. That's a fun boost everything and gives you an additional attack. Very nice. Then we have a Valmax Megazord. I think. I have no idea. Again, place three energy tokens on this card at the start of each battle. Max three. After any ranger plays a card, they may remove one energy token from this card and place the played card at the bottom of their deck instead of discarding it and draw one card. My thoughts on the RPM. I've said this before, but I do think that this, I do think that this game, that these, this team will be a lot of fun to play as. I really do like the idea of making the maneuvers, uh, like because they're vehicle focused team, making the maneuvers more of a, a focus on their cards. So I, I'm i looking forward to playing with these guys. I, again, I have no love for the show just because I haven't watched it, but um, I'm, <laughs> I think they have well-defined personalities and you're seeing that coming out of the cards. So. Uh, looking forward to it. Really looking forward to both these sets because I think that they're they're neat. Um, anyway, I'm going to have to drag out my friends again to play a couple of games of Power Rangers. <laughs>
I also have a lot of uh, G.I. Joe stuff that I haven't played yet either, so... They might hate this system by the time I'm done with it. <laughs> the last thing we're going to discuss is the pre-order bonus for this game. Uh, so, when I saw this, this coin, uh, first of all, I love metal coins, and I, I will always take them. Uh, this is a lead ranger token. So, the only complaint I have with this, um, it's a cool coin, it's hefty, it's got a good texture to it. Um, but the only problem is, there's certain cards in the Power Ranger game that will tell you to flip a coin. So when I first saw this, I thought that, hey, they were just providing us a coin that we could flip. The thing is, there is a difference, like, it's got the copyright Hasbro on this side, but, like, this was the opportunity to have a heads or tails. Um, so I'm a little disappointed that they didn't do that because it would have been, they could have had the Lightning Bolt logo and they could have had the like, Heroes of the Grid or Power Rangers on the other side and, or like a, the Red Ranger's face because the other bit of DLC is the Forever Red. So I'm a little disappointed that they didn't do that. It's not the end of the world. I didn't pay for this. I got it as a pre-order bonus, but just be aware. I mean, you can use this as a heads and tails because of the Hasbro thing, but I think that's a missed opportunity from Renegade. But again, I will never complain about a metal coin. I will never complain about a metal coin. Okay, so this is Forever Red. Which, if you've uh, seen the TV show, there there's an episode called Forever Red that was just great as a kid, seeing all the... So, the way the Forever Pat Red work, pack works is, this is, this promo pack allows you to customize the deck of any Red Ranger in the Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid game. Before you play, you may swap cards from your Red Ranger's deck at a 1 to 1 ratio. Again, I think that means shields. Um, from the promo pack, of oh, same shield value, yep. Uh, so... I can take the Combining Strike and I can swap that, swap that out with any other Red Rangers cards as long as they have two shields. So we're going to get into these cards in a second, but this is cool. This is a great way of, uh, this, is, this is great fan service. Then the, the, the other rule is like, you don't have to trade out all the cards, like so you can have multiple copies of a card and you're not forced to just trade them out like you can mix and match so I, I appreciate the flexibility there um, this is going to make this is going to add some interesting twist to the games um, commanding strike uh, zero cost to attack if you are the lead ranger another ranger may immediately play one card after you resolve this card other words add, otherwise add one die to that attack to this attack Dramatic finish, energy cost one, reaction. Play this card after the last ranger turn in battle, the rangers may take an additional turn. Forever red, two cost, maneuver. Until the end of this battle, each time a ranger performs an attack, they may reroll any number of dice during that attack. Heroic resolve, zero cost. Play this card after any ranger rolls dice outside of an attack. Okay, convert one miss to a hit and one Oh, convert one miss or hit result to a double hit result. A one for all. Zero cost, one die plus one damage. The next time any ranger performs an attack during this battle, add as many dice to that attack as you rolled for this attack. Red strength, zero cost reaction. Play this card when any ranger adds dice to another ranger's attack, add two additional dice to that attack. Rising power, one cost, attack, three dice. If you are the lead ranger, return this card to your hand instead of discarding it. Otherwise, gain the, gain the lead ranger token. Stand together, one cost, reaction. Play this card when any ranger suffers, suffers damage. Reduce that damage by the amount equal to the number of rangers in this battle. Together as one. Zero cost, reaction. Play this card at the start of each battle. All rangers and other locations may use their once per battle abilities in this battle. Ooh. United Strike, free cost. Attack special, each ranger in this battle may discard one card from their hand with an energy cost of one or zero. That card's attack value is equal to the combined attack values of all discarded cards.
Okay. Again, I'm really looking forward to building decks with these uh, cards. I can see where there'd be a lot of fun mix and matches. Uh, a lot of breakable things here, which I love. I'll have to talk to Steven about some strategies. So this was the unboxing video for the Power Rangers Arsenal pack and the RPM Rangers pack. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take the initiative and roll out.